A grieving mother right now wants to prevent other families from losing a loved one to violence. Our Stephanie Escobar explains how she hopes to start making a difference with an event tomorrow. That's when they were younger, him and his siblings. Felicia Smyre looks at a photo album containing memories her family made with her son, Montrell Phoenix. My son was a loving, kind, sweet. The 22-year-old died in 2010 after being shot in Waco. For me, it was devastating. I didn't even want to live anymore, but I know I had other children that I had to live for too. The man responsible, Brown Shea Robinson, is serving a 14-year sentence for the murder. I try to be strong, but many times when I'm here at home, I break down. It's hard. She says it's also hard for the four children Phoenix left That's behind. Important. It's going on nine years in November, so his kids been affected by it uh, the whole time he's been gone. A murder in Waco last month prompted the mother of four and her friend Pamela DeGrate to organize an event to prevent another family from going through that pain. On Saturday, they will host a Peace Walk rally at the Wilbert Austin Senior Park in East Waco. I think that if we lose one person to violence, then it's bad. This year, at least three people have been murdered in Waco. I'm hoping and praying that it brings awareness to the violence and that we can create um, a day of love, respect. At the event, those attending will hear from pastors and people who turned their lives around. Just to try to even touch a soul, you know, somebody that wants to try to change their life around to better themselves. In Waco, Stephanie Escobar, Central Texas News Now. And like Stephanie said, the event will be at 10 in the morning at Wilbert Austin Senior Park in Waco tomorrow. Elected officials and Waco firefighters are also expected to be there. The imam is also planning to start a nonprofit to give back to families impacted by violence.